A Louis Gossett Jr. once said, I can do more than stuff a ball through a hoop. My greatest asset is my mind. And boy, did he prove that right. Born in Brooklyn, New York in 1936, Gossett was never one to shy away from the spotlight. His passion for acting sparked early, and by the time he was a teenager, he was already rubbing shoulders with some of Broadway's finest. His breakout role in A Raisin in the Sun had critics and audiences alike sitting up and taking notice. But acting wasn't his only talent. Gossett was also a formidable basketball player. He could have easily taken his skills to the NBA, but instead, he chose to focus on his acting career. I guess he figured he could make more of a slam dunk on stage than on the court. So, young Lewis traded the basketball court for the stage, and we're all the better for it. In Hollywood, they say you haven't made it until you've been in a soap opera, and our man Lewis starred in The Guiding Light. Talk about a sign. From the bright lights of Broadway, Lewis Gossett Jr. made his way to the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, setting his sights on the silver screen. And boy, did he make an impact. His roles in An Officer and a Gentleman and Roots are the stuff of legend. Gossett didn't just play a character, he became the character, bringing them to life with a depth and authenticity that was truly his own. His portrayal of the tough but fair Sergeant Emil Foley in An Officer and a Gentleman not only won him an Oscar, but also etched his name in history as the first black man to win a supporting actor Oscar. Now that's what I call making a grand entrance. Then came Roots, where Gossett's performance as Fiddler left us all spellbound. His ability to bring out the humanity and dignity of a character in the harshest of circumstances was nothing short of extraordinary. But let's not forget his role as Drac in Enemy Mine. An alien who befriended a human? Now that's versatility for you. Louis Gossett Jr. could play anything, and I mean anything. A hardened military sergeant, a fiddling slave, or a friendly extraterrestrial, you name it, he could play it. And he didn't just play these roles, he owned them. In a town where fame can be as fleeting as a sunset, Gossett's star shone bright for over six decades. He had that rare ability to make us laugh, cry, and think, often all at the same time. His performances were not just entertaining, they were enlightening, giving us a glimpse into the human condition in all its complexity. From Broadway to Hollywood, Gossett had a knack for lighting up whatever stage he was on. They say a man is not old until regrets take the place of dreams. Gossett, at 87, had no time for regrets. He was too busy living his dreams. In his later years, Louis Gossett Jr. was not just a man of the screen. He took on roles that mattered, not just in Hollywood, but in life. He founded the Ericism Foundation, actively combating racism. Imagine that. A man who dealt with make-believe villains on screen took on real-life villains off the screen. And he did it with the same conviction and dedication he brought to his performances. Gossett also became a voice for prostate cancer awareness. Now here's a man who didn't know the meaning of taking it easy. Even while battling cancer himself, he was advocating for others. It's like he was saying, Cancer, you picked the wrong guy. I've got scenes to shoot and lives to save. And let's not forget, Gossett was still acting into his 80s. Some people retire and take up gardening, but not Gossett. He was more like, Retirement, what's that? Is it a new role I can play? His dedication to his craft was so profound that it seemed the clapperboard was his alarm clock and scripts were his morning newspapers. Gossett's passion for his work was infectious. He was like a masterclass in tenacity and resilience, teaching us that no matter what life throws at us, we can still deliver our lines with a smile. He showed us how to take the applause with the criticism, the triumphs with the trials, and still come out on top. Louis Gossett Jr. left us with laughter, lessons, and a legacy that won't soon be forgotten. As he once said, you take the good with the bad, rise up with the sun, and set out to do what needs to be done. And that, my friends, is exactly what he did.